What's going on YouTube Frosty here? I hope you guys are doing well. I've been paying pretty close attention to what's going on with Counter-Strike 2. And the more and more news that I read concerning Counter-Strike 2, the more and more infuriated I get with the current state of Call of Duty. And for those of you that haven't kept up to speed with Counter-Strike 2's beta and its subsequent release in this summer, uh, be prepared to get a little bit angry because... Counter-Strike 2 is exactly the type of game that Call of Duty should figure out that the community needs right now. Because I think if they were to just give the Counter-Strike 2 treatment to Modern Warfare 2 from 2009, or heck, this fall, give that treatment to Black Ops 1, I think the community would unite. Similarly to how the community is uniting around Counter-Strike 2. First and foremost, one of the biggest things that I think everybody in the community can agree on... Counter-Strike 2 is porting in every single skin that you purchased in CSGO and saying you can have that here in Counter-Strike 2. We're not going to expect you to spend money again. Unlike Call of Duty, unlike Activision, unlike Infinity Ward, that are recreating the same skins as what they had in Modern Warfare 2019 and saying they want you to spend that same money again because you can't port over any of your cosmetics. Who is buying cosmetics in Modern Warfare 2? Who thinks it's a, a worthy investment of your money like i don't want to sit here and tell people how to spend their money but you are actively supporting bad business practices you're actively supporting the downfall of call of duty every time you buy a skin you're telling activision that it's okay that you put no passion or effort into your games anymore it's okay that you continue to put your shareholders above your player base that's totally fine not only that, CSGO 2 or CS Counter-Strike 2 is going to be releasing basically the same game as CSGO, but with a new engine, a nice new coat of paint, and some changes to smoke mechanics. Isn't that fantastic? They're not trying to reinvent their wheel. They're not trying to make things more complicated like we have here in Modern Warfare 2, where attachments have tuning and there's 72 different ones, and they just make the whole experience more convoluted. Instead, CS or Counter-Strike 2, pardon me, is keeping things simple. They're saying you enjoyed Counter-Strike Go? Well, you're, you'll enjoy Counter-Strike 2. It's basically the same experience, but with a shinier coat of paint. And on top of that, the, the icing on the cake here for Counter-Strike 2, they're removing tick rate, which means the networking that will be in Counter-Strike 2 will be far superior to what we have in Call of Duty. And the funny thing is, is the amount of money Valve makes from Counter-Strike is less than the money Activision makes from Call of Duty, but Counter-Strike can make these changes and support their community better and give actual quality of life improvements to their game. Whereas Infinity Ward sits here for months and months and months and months and months and does none of that. And Call of Duty makes a ton of money and they could improve the quality of life for their game, but instead they choose not to because they don't care. They have no passion for their series anymore. They have one goal in mind, which is to make their shareholders as much money as possible, and they don't care if their game is fun. They don't, because if they did, they would make the changes that we've been talking about for months. The UI would be overhauled by now, but it's not going to be. They're releasing a new game in the fall, and they hope that you forget about all the same complaints you've had, so you go buy their game in the fall. Stop buying their game. Go buy Counter-Strike 2. Go do that. That is going to be a far better investment of your time than trying to give Call of Duty any more money. We have to start speaking with our wallets. And until we start speaking with our wallets, we're going to continue to get these half-assed experiences from Activision. I'm going to give all the money to Counter-Strike here. I'm going to buy Counter-Strike 2 when it comes out. I'm going to grind the game. I'm going to play it. And I'm going to enjoy it. Because it's made with passion. It's made by developers who care about their player base. The developers who make Counter-Strike probably also play Counter-Strike on a regular basis. And I can't say the same about the Activision devs. Cannot say the same about the Infinity War devs. Because if they actually played their games, they'd be advocating for the changes that the community wants. And it's extremely frustrating to go over and over and over again over the same complaints and have them never be addressed or changed. I am very jealous of the Counter-Strike community right now. They are getting a game that is a celebration of their franchise. Whereas the Call of Duty fan base continues to get games that is a celebration of corporate greed. 
Every Call of Duty game that's been released in the last five years has been not made for the player. It has been made to increase Activision's profits. And the funny thing is, if they actually started to put the players first, they'd be making better games. And on top of it, they'd probably make more money. I look at Halo. Halo Infinite is such a perfect example of this. If Halo Infinite just gave the Counter-Strike 2 treatment to Halo 3, and that was what Halo Infinite was, they'd be dominating the first-person shooter space right now. They would have Xboxes and PCs outselling PS5s so quickly because everybody would be flocking to play that game. That's what Halo used to be. It's not that anymore. Because they decided to put a player last mentality into Halo Infinite. It was all about corporate greed for Halo Infinite. And that's a losing cause. It hasn't lost yet for Call of Duty, but it's going that way. And with games like Counter-Strike 2 on the horizon, at some point, the bubble's going to burst and Call of Duty is going to continue down this downward spiral, only worse. I really hope that Counter-Strike 2 wakes Activision and its developers up a little to see how you should be treating your community. It's as simple as that. It's inexcusable that the skins that you purchase in a game prior to Modern Warfare 2 or even in Modern Warfare 2 don't get carried over into subsequent games. It gives no incentive for me to ever spend money. You should be trying to incentivize your community to spend money. Instead, you actively work against your best interests consistently. Whereas Counter-Strike 2 is saying, hey, spend your money here. You're going to be able to keep everything you ever buy. And we're creating a game that is for the players. Instead of creating a game that is to make the developers more money. The funny thing is, Valve is going to crush it. Counter-Strike 2 is going to crush it. And Call of Duty is just going to be wasting away all summer long. Mark my words, they're going to have lower player counts than what Counter-Strike 2 is going to have for probably months and months and months until the ne next Call of Duty drops. But even then, I don't know if they're going to be able to outlast what Counter-Strike 2 is doing because, like I said just a few moments ago, Counter-Strike 2 is a celebration of the community instead of a celebration of corporations. So that's all I've got for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Would love to hear your thoughts concerning Counter-Strike 2 and how it relates to Call of Duty. Please leave all of that down below in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. See you later.